Hi Crypto Kings and Queens, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie. In today's short episode, we will go through Bitcoin, Ethereum and Chainlink. And right now on Bitcoin, we are inside a demand zone. And from a demand zone, usually what happens is that the market reverts to the upside again, even if it did break this weekly trend line. As you can see, looking at Ethereum, the market did exactly what I expected the market to do by using the 4-hour Fibonacci, the 12-hour. And now we are inside the 2-monthly Fibonacci. And from this level, I, I definitely believe that we will consolidate just like on Bitcoin we will consolidate and then you see market breaking to the upside again I will also give you the targets that I'm having on Ethereum on the long term and I will also go through chain links remember I am no financial advisor you need to look up everything yourself first but please guys continue watching this video and I'll show you what I see on Bitcoin Ethereum and on chain link right now <laughs> We're looking at Ethereum and we can see that the market did exactly what uh, I expected the market to do. So first of all, what I did was that I took a Fibonacci uh, on the four hour chart. I do believe it was like this. I took it from this lowest point to the highest point. I expected the market to come back down to retest these levels for then coming up to the 12 hour Fibonacci, which is looking like this. Market came up to this one, uh, we did respect the 50% and I expected the market to come back down to the two monthly Fibonacci as you can see right here and we are just gonna go down to the lower time frames right away. The two monthly Fibonacci, that is where Ethereum is right now. So we did bounce off of the four hour Fibonacci, came up to the 12 hour Fibonacci. We are now inside the two monthly Fibonacci for then continue back to the upside. I do believe that we can consolidate in between these levels for a couple of times before we actually start to see the market going to the upside or we just might see the market just from nowhere breaking to the upside again but looking at the higher time frames we do have a huge bearish momentum and we need to see the market calm down and this is what i'm talking about that we just might see market consolidate during the daily chart so that it will take some time and remember that it's very easy to lose as i always tell you guys it's very easy to lose money in a sideways market because the market is not giving you high highs higher lows or lower lows or lower highs so just have that in mind but we can definitely start to see the market you know break it and continue back down or just from nowhere breaking to the upside but after a huge momentum like this when we see the cycle of this downtrend end what happens that we usually go sideways just for the market to come down itself and then create the momentum to the upside so i definitely strongly believe that we are about to end this bearish cycle that we are in right now on both bitcoin and ethereum we just need to give it some more time and just be a little bit more patient we're still in a bearish market but very soon i do believe that we will reverse the targets that i'm having for ethereum is 4700 5700 and 6700 remember it's gonna take some time before we get to the these levels but it's definitely definitely something that i do believe will happen if i'm following my own analysis looking at chain link we are inside of this triangle what i did was that i took fib from the highest point to the lowest point because we did break this small option that we did have on the weekly we did break the previous higher low created a lower low and now we just might see the market creating another lower high come back down to the support again before we break into the upside. We are around 27 and 26 and going down to the lower time frames, you can, you can see that we did have a fake out from this level. You saw the retest market came back down. So either we will have it as a resistance, you just might see the market coming up to the, to the trend line again and then bounce to the downside or we just might see the market finding this uh, finding 26 as a support you you're breaking the trend line and you see the retest market continues to the upside everything is potential but what i see right now just following what the market is doing even if we have a small uptrend right now on the daily chart we're coming to the weekly fibonacci and that could be where the market creates the lower high for then coming back down a last time before the market goes back up and this is also combined with how ethereum and bitcoin is moving as always and thing can happen but this is what i see and if i start to see the market on the lower time frames give you a lot of dojis around this level and you can see that the market cannot break it that is definitely a sign that the market will continue back down we're looking at bitcoin on the weekly chart and we will also go down to the daily chart
chart. As we can see, we are about to break this trend line that we're having, but this is the weekly chart. So it's two days left and 13 hours of this candlestick. So it's a lot of things that can happen in between. But if we're going to the daily, we can see that we do have some huge momentum to the downside. We're also having a demand zone right here. And usually what happens when we're coming to a demand zone is that the market is actually breaking to the upside. So what I expect the market to do is that we can consolidate in between 39,500 and 42,100. We just might see the market trying to break it. You see a lot of fake outs, but then slowly the market breaks to the upside. I am using a previous Fibonacci that is still valid because we're coming to this level right now and that is also why I'm having the targets as you can see. So if we start to see the market having trouble to breaking 39,500 that can actually take us up to the long-term targets 57,800, 68,600 and 78,500. Remember this is a long-term target so there's a lot of things that will happen in between but I definitely believe that Bitcoin will reverse from these levels that we can see. We just might see a little breakout to the downside but i definitely believe that we will be bullish very very soon on bitcoin i will just give you what i can expect the market to do right now on bitcoin a quick one uh we can potentially come up to 44,827 and see the market breaking to the downside from this level because as you can see market is going back down i do believe we will create a lower high and then continue back down to create a lower low and we will consolidate in the demand zone that I did show in the beginning of this video. Remember that we do have a bonus up to $4,100 right now on Bybit and claim this bonus and you will also help Bitcoin Census by doing that. You're having the link in the description down below this video. But thank you guys so much for looking at this video together with me. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, I am having multiple live streams during the week and I'm also having daily updates about cryptocurrencies. Thank you so much. Have a good day and we'll see each other in the next video. Mwah.